in our ice cream bar. So I just got back from the gym, if you couldn't tell by my super amazing outfit today. I have been not feeling too well for like the past infinity, apparently, so I haven't had a ton of time to film one of these videos, so here we go. But because I just got back from the gym, I'm not super feeling like drinking alcohol. So I'm gonna make a mocktail, and it's going to be very... Something, I don't know, I have no idea. So what you're gonna need for this mocktail is lovely blue Gatorade. You could actually probably use any flavor of Gatorade because they all taste like nothing. The juice from half a lemon. And lovely basil, lovely herbal delicious basil. Juice and a lemon all day long, juice and a lemon all day long. This is my juice and a lemon song. Da, ba, da, 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 da. So I've got my ice filled cocktail shaker and I'm going to add three fourths of an ounce of lemon juice. Now I'm going to take two ounces of my Gatorade flavorings. Sugary. And then I'm going to take um, a nice big basil leaf. This is basil that I got from the store. And every time I buy basil from a store, I always find that there's like limpy, floppy, like wilty, gross pieces. It's kind of nice to use those in a cocktail because I don't really want to eat this, right? So at least I can use it somehow. It's time to shake. <laughs> I have my frosted cocktail glass, and it's time to pour. Oh, pour me! <laughs> All right, so here we have it. Here's our beautiful drink. <gasps> it's it's drink. So let's find out how it tastes. Mmm, smells like... Actually, it doesn't really smell... Oh, it smells like basil. Okay. It smells like a beautiful garden. Sweaty garden. Garden sweat. That can be the name of this drink. Okay, I have to say, for just randomly, randomly things that I had in my kitchen and just like putting them in a drink, I think I did a pretty good job. Obviously, Gatorade is like kind of not a very, um, how do I say that? Um, classy taste. I mean, it's, it's like a child's beverage, right? It tastes like Kool-Aid. So I was trying to like hide the flavor as much as possible. I think it's pretty decent, actually. I'm feeling pretty like, okay, this could, I think, Use more ingredients. I think maybe something like a little bit spicy. I really like the lemon and the basil together, right? The problem is the the bitterness from the lemon, it, it kind of balances out the sweetness of the Gatorade, but the last taste on your tongue is the Gatorade, right? And that's kind of like a weird after to after. Like, oh, basil, ooh, lemon, maybe a little too much lemon. And then Gatorade? Just Gatorade. Just, just it's Gatorade. It's energy power. What if I added like uh, bitters to this? What would that taste like? Should we find out? Let me sniff this. Oh, I don't think I'm in focus. Oh god, what is that? But that's okay because I have gym face. All right, how much should we add? The whole bottle? I'm just gonna stir it with this leaf. It's not really a pretty color anymore. Actually, that was super helpful. That was like two dashes of aromatic bitters. Amazing. Delicious. So did you guys see Doctor Strange? I know, it came out like two weeks ago, right? Or like three weeks ago at this point? I don't even know. I like I liked it. I thought it was good. Impressive special effects. I thought Benedict Cumberbatch was good. It was kind of like if Iron Man and Sherlock and Zoltar had car had he. You know what's weird? Doctor Strange is also a Batman character and every time I'm like, oh Doctor Strange, I'm thinking Batman and it's not. I kind of wonder who came first. It's very odd. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember the show Metalocalypse? I forgot about it and then I was like, oh my god, I remembered it and then I started watching it and I'm like, oh, I saw it. I love pickles. The drummer. Doodly do. <laughs> this went so fast! Probably because I'm thirsty. And I can actually drink this like water because there's no alcohol in it. Ha ha! That's the nice thing about mocktails is that if you're actually really just thirsty, then you just have a fancy drink. And it's like so sugary. But it's also so lemon tarty. And it's also so basil-y. That probably looked really inappropriate. Oh no! Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized the other day? A bay leaf is a thing. But it's also a Pokemon. Like, what? Isn't that the name of the evolved form of Chikorita? I don't know if that's a thing. That might already be a thing. I'm just like, I used to think back in my day we really knew how to name Pokemon, but I guess, I guess we never knew. Ekans and Arbuck, really? And then you think about it like, Magnet, Mag Magnemite, Diglett, Sand True, Sand Slash. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be mad at all of the new Pokemon with dumb names like Trubbish. It just, I just realized 
realized that all they've all they've all been stupid and it just kind of made me feel stupid that I took so long to realize. I don't know how I got on this topic and I should probably stop talking to you because there's like nothing left in here. Oh, there is a little bit. Basilly. I love the lemon. It just tickles the inside of your mouth. Tickle, tickle. Lemon tickle. That's my other band name. Lemon tickle. <laughs> don't you want to hear all my music? Maybe that would be my stage name. Here comes lemon tickle. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, <laughs> my book today is closed. I got nothing more to teach you and nothing more to learn. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you at the very least by next Thursday. Thanks guys. Bye.